What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, listen, I want to show you something that I found out that, that made my life easier. And I'm going to show you how to make templates in pages. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> So check it out. Here's what we're going to do. So if you've been using pages for any length of time, you've more than likely started using all of the pre uh, templates that they have in there. But maybe you've started a project and you've come up with something that you're doing repetitively, but you keep having to start over. This is how you stop that. OK, so we're going to create this template. So here's how we do it. We open up pages. We go in here, get pages open and you want to start with a brand new document. Once we get a brand new document open. We want to make sure it's a clean blank document. So it's already set for my blank document. We click create and we're ready to go. So now you got your blank canvas to work on. And this is going to be the template that you're going to use over and over again because you're doing whatever it is, books, posters, whatever it is. There's a certain thing that you constantly do over and over again. So for our purposes, we're just going to grab some shapes and we're going to make these shapes our document. And this is what we're going to use to create our template. So we got these shapes and this is our template because whatever we doing, this is what we need. So here's the first thing you do. Step one, go up to the top, click it, click the thing and call it your template. So we're going to call it Keith's um, template. I'm just going to call it Keith's template. So now we press enter and it named the project. So now the project has a name, it's saved, but we don't want to keep it as that. So what we want to do is actually make this now a template because we've already used it. This is what we're going to use. So you click file, you go down to save as template, click that. As soon as you do that, the screen pops up and it asks you if you want to save it like this. Do you want to add it to the template chooser? You say yes. Click that and boom, it's already here, there. Now you can name it beforehand or you can rename it when you get in here. When you get in here, you can name it Keats template or maybe you want to name it a poster template, um, template. So now that's going to be the name we click off and that becomes the name of your template. But wait, so let's say you've been doing this for a while and you, you want to change this, but you don't even want this template anymore and you want to get rid of it. There's an easy way to get rid of it. I want to show you this right now. Ready? All you do is you select the, the poster template that you're going to use. You hold down the control button. And then you press on the actual template and you'll see it pops up. It says rename, share or delete. You go down to delete, click that. And it asks, are you sure that you want to delete this? You say yes, hit delete. It's just that simple. That's how you create a template that you can reuse over and over again. And also how you can delete that template right out of pages so that you can have your own professional template that does what you do. And as you can see, I have multiple ones that I use for thumbnails and for different things that I'm doing that I already have in here. And I want you to see how you make it. So if you've been enjoying the content, 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 I, I, I don't know why I can't say content. Um, but if you've been enjoying the content, make certain that you click like, click share, give me a thumbs up, go down in the comments, man, and leave me a comment, say what's happening. You know, let me know that you're checking this out. And if it's being a help, if you got something, you uh, got a question, you don't know how to do something, hit me up. We're going to see if we can figure it out for you. And we'll do a video and show you how to do that. All right. Um, listen, I'm on everything. Make sure you catch me on Facebook. You can catch me at uh, my Facebook fan page. You can catch me at my Instagram. You can catch me all over the place. So go look me up. I look forward to seeing you guys. One more again in the next video. Peace.